Hello everyone and welcome to our today's workshop with our friends at Tablets Project. I'm your host Alip Talipov and this event is part of our Blockchain Professionals Hackathon which is coming in two weeks and it will be on June 30th. And our friends at Dublet Project are one of our hackathon sponsors who will be providing us uh, the problem statement and of course the prizes for those who will provide the best solution for that problem statement. So the hackathon will last 24 hours and as I said before we've got about two weeks to prepare and uh, until June 30th. So if you want to learn more and uh, sign up for the hackathon just click the link in the description and uh, visit our website. So before we start, I would like to invite our colleague Katerina from Dublis Project. Uh, Hi, Katerina. Hi. Katerina is a representative of Dublis Project. Just a, please, just a couple of welcoming words from you. Hi, so my name is Kate and I am part of Dublis Project's marketing team. And before we start, I would like to uh, just talk a little bit about why we're doing what we're doing. Um, so the internet, as we know it today, uh, is a place where website owners have uh, full control over users' data and communications, and they're the ones profiting and benefiting from this. Uh, while the users, the people who actually create this content, um, don't have control over it, and it can easily be taken away from them uh, at any moment. So one of our major goals is to disrupt this paradigm. Uh, we do this by creating small decentralized applications, we call them Daplets, uh, that uh, exist in the website's context, but they are outside of the web website owner's control. Um, this creates lots of new opportunities uh, and uh, business uh, options. Um, we want to give users innovation uh, and connect uh, existing businesses with uh, big social media networks. Um, we also want to create uh, completely new uh, workflows on uh, traditional websites. Um, Dablis project also has a huge social impact. Um, by creating uh, censorship resistant user flows um, on centrally owned websites, we can effectively cancel out cancel culture, which has been so prominent in the past few years. Um, this is like a whole really interesting issue on its own. Uh, so I don't want to get too much into this, but uh, we at Dublis Project truly believe uh, not just in the freedom of speech, but also in the freedom for users to receive any information they like. Uh, we like to call this freedom of hearing. Um, so we really want to give users the opportunity to um, select uh, their their own content and to interpret it on their own. Uh, this was kind of about like our ideology and big picture stuff. Uh, I want to just say a few words about what we actually do. Uh, we create uh, small uh, Web3 applications that run on top of exi existing websites uh, by changing UX and content. Uh, when we say Web3, what we mean is um, that these applications are anonymous, open source, decentralized, permissionless, um, all of these things that we love so much. Um, so we, we achieve this by using crypto technologies. We use um, Ethereum and near blockchains for uh, distributed Dublin's registries. Uh, we use uh, decentralized storages like Swarm and IPFS. We use smart contracts. Um, and all of this is, uh, is used uh, to achieve decentralization. But as we all know, true decentralization means um, community governance. And this is impossible without a community. So <laughs> our, um, our platform um, uh, really imagines its own economically incentivized ecosystem where we have um, many different roles. We have listers, owners, auditors, developers, um, end users. Um, and this is also <laughs> way too much to talk about right now. You can check it on our website. But uh, what I really want to emphasize is that as developers, you're not really confined to one role. So you can, uh, if you have a Daplet idea, you can be an owner. You can also be an auditor, someone who checks Daplet's code uh, and is, you know checks if it's safe for end users. Uh, you can also be a lister, someone who promotes Daplet's. Um, so. Really, you have a lot of possibilities. And um, right now, we're really focused on building our, uh, our community. And um, we really want to emphasize that um, 
if you're a developer who's interested in our project, uh, you should always feel free, you know, marketing people always say this, but you should always feel free to reach out to us, ask us any questions. We're always ready to help. If you feel like, um, you know, you want to try out our platform, uh, but you don't have an idea, we can give you some ideas. If you, um, you know, have an idea, but you don't have a full team, you're lacking designers, for example, we can connect you with the right designers and the right people um, to, to help you, you know, fully experience our platform. Um, so yeah, I think I've talked way too much. Uh, I think we should get down to the practical stuff. We have two wonderful developers uh, with us today. We have Nikita and Alexander who will uh, guide you today. Enjoy. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Katerina. Hello. So uh, as you mentioned, uh, we are gathered here to learn how to get into uh, Web3 programming. And uh, it's, it will not be that hard with our today's instructors from Duplets, Nikita and, and Nikita and Alexander. Please say hi and uh, just a couple of welcoming words from you. Hi for everyone. We are glad to see you today and to be here. So now I will uh, share my screen. And so, we'll okay, uh, just a second. I think we are ready to start. And uh, before we start, uh, we I just want to let you know that uh, if you will have any questions, just send them to the live chat and we will answer them at the end of our today's session. So now we can see your screen. Nikita, please, okay. the stage is yours. Go ahead. Yes, thank you. Uh, at the beginning, I will try to... Uh, explain you uh, what is Daplets and how our platform works. Uh, but uh, firstly, I um, I want to share with some links. Uh, uh, Kate, uh, where where are our links to some uh, extensions? I think they're uh, below. Uh, I will the... send them in the YouTube chat. Just give me a second. Yes, uh, they will be uh, under the video. So uh, let's begin. In. How Daplets work? Um, Daplets, uh, uh, there are three uh, parts, extension, uh, adapter, and Daplet. Uh, the first part, its extension, is extension for our browsers. Uh, now our extension works with Google Chrome, with uh, Brave, and other browser browsers. Um, so uh, uh, the um, when we uh, download. Uh, this extension. Um, unfortunately, we need to uh, start it in developer mode for now. Uh, but in the future, we will uh, we plan to add it to uh, the store of uh, extensions. Um, and so the Daplet extension, I can show you. Um, it's uh, open some overlay with Daplets. We can hear this on Twitter, for example. There are many Daplets. And what is the Daplet? Daplet is a small application uh, that works on top of a website. So it augments uh, different websites add some functionality, add some uh, uh, decentralized features. And um, so it, uh, and we, today we will create a Daplet. But we have um, uh, additional layer. It is a Daplet's adapter. Uh, Daplet uh, will not work with, without the adapter. Um, adapter works with specific websites and, um, and defines uh, which part will be augmented and um, uh, provides some widgets 
that we will uh, add to websites. Um, so, um, Uh, we today we have some plan of our workshop. Uh, you can uh, see it by the link. Um, and if you uh, uh, will not understand something, uh, so you can uh, look to this plan and uh, copy some code or um, uh, it will help for you. So, and of course, you can ask some questions uh, in YouTube or in our um, Telegram or on the platform and we will try to answer your questions. Um, so, um, uh, now I will show you what we will do today. Uh, we will create some Daplet for GitHub. Uh, this is uh, our Daplet, and it implements buttons for for issues for comments of issues. So we see them here, and uh, there are a um, number of votes for these comments or likes. Um, this Daplet has some page in the overlay where we can connect to the wallet and uh, we see some statistics for which issues are has been voted and who uh, voted for these issues. Uh, it's um, Ethereum address and we can go and uh, look for it in etherscan um so we can go to this issue comment here um and uh, uh, as i talked uh uh, there are several layers, uh, extension, Daplet, and uh, adapter that uh, provides uh, this button for us and that um, uh, shows our Daplet and uh, uh, starts it on GitHub. So, uh, Firstly, we need to, to uh, if we want to create a Daplet, we need to download the extension. So let's do it. Um, we have, uh, you can do it by some links or below your translation, or you can go to our site, website, Daplets project org and or to our uh, GitHub. Uh, we can see here Daplet extension. And uh, latest release. Here we can download browser extension. Um, So then uh, we should go to extensions manager. Uh, the developer mode should 
be turned on. And then we can just drag and drop here our extension. Oh, go or go to load unpacked and uh, find here our yes uh, find here our zip file uh, i've already added and uh, it turned on so i can go to for example twitter and uh, yes i can open it and uh, try to some doublets for example uh, my nifty collection it shows my nfts from some platforms or add uh, turn on tipping doublet um so so it works uh the next step is uh the next step is to clone our repository for this workshop uh, we can go to doublets project github and we see here github doublet workshop um and here we can uh, copy this link and uh, download to uh, your computer uh, you can uh, use uh, VS code uh, or you can use uh, git pod uh, I think we share a link for git pod uh, uh, Kate uh, do we have this link shared with others Wait, uh, uh, the... <laughs> get pod. Um, I will send. Do it. you mean Do you mean the hackmd.io website? Um, uh, yes, uh, but here is another link to get help. Uh, get pod. Yes, so uh, on the hackmd uh, link, you can find the get pod link. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um. But you can uh, download it uh, locally and start it on your computer. Um, so when you clone this ripper, uh, you should use a node, uh, several words about environment. And you should use a uh, node uh, version 16. Um, and we use, I can show you now. So I use node version 16.13 um, also we use uh, TypeScript in our project uh, and we use web components in our adapters so I recommend you to uh, use uh, extension for uh, this code um, there are uh, lit plugin I can find it no yes this extension uh, for web components and uh, solidity plugin 
to um, that will be used with uh, Ethereum contract. Um, uh, so uh, now we can uh, try to uh, install uh, dependencies and uh, we can try to run this project uh, if you in the main branch uh, there are here is the working tablet uh, so now we okay and start the tablet Um, uh, we have a script here in package JSON. We use concurrently and we start adapter, dapplint, and overlay uh, on different uh, local hosts. Uh, we use uh, 3002 and 3001. So um, let's go to the browser. Uh, here we uh, go to GitHub because our adapter uh, works only on GitHub page. Uh, I will explain you later why it is so. And uh, you shouldn't see here for now because we should connect uh, development servers. Um, so open, we should open our extension firstly I go to the developer tab and here uh, we should add for example here uh, local hosts and enable them or you can go different way you can just tap here and open extension here and we see here this local host and just can add it i've already added it so the button is disabled um, so when we connect two development servers uh, one for daplet and one for adapter uh, on the GitHub page, we can see our doublet. Uh, firstly, on disabled condition, and then we enable it, and we see our buttons. Um, you can uh, open some uh, repository you want uh, and open some issues. Uh, I open YPAM repository, uh, some with many issues, uh, with many comments, uh, just to show you uh, how it works. Um, so uh, we can click to the home button. There is an overlay and uh, for vote for some comments we should connect some wallet because uh, votes uh, will start to some contract uh, in our example uh, we use ethereum ethereum contract so uh, uh, if you had uh, testnet wallet you can use metamask or 
uh, you can use our uh, wallet uh, that created for test this. So here I see that I connected to the wallet and I can vote for some comments. I can click. And here I see that in statistics that we have new comment. <clears throat> also, we can click another one and uh, the vote will uh, removed will remove. So this is how it works. Um, and now, uh, do you have any problems with it? Uh, can I show some reaction? <laughs> so uh, I think uh, Sasha is doing his best uh, to help you, to back you up in the live chat. Yes, yes. I have uh, one question about uh, te technical layer and uh, I'm already respond. Uh, the answer was uh, about the stack of uh, uh, models and extension. Uh, the model and the extension is written in TypeScript. Also, it's a TypeScript on, on every layer of our solution. Um, uh, the components which injected in the GitHub is written with uh, using of lit element uh, library uh, with uh, supporting of uh, web component standard. Uh, the overlay, which you can see is the right side of the browser, is written uh, in uh, React.js with uh, using TypeScript. You can use another, any another front end fr framework which you want, um, but we have some abstraction layer which is already is done for React, which uh, provides um, shared state feature and, and another stuff. Uh, we recommend to use React.js. That's all. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay. Um, uh, now, I will try to explain what uh, parts of the Daplet we have. Uh, in our Daplet, there are a structure of five components. It is adapter, Daplet, two contracts, and overlay. Um, So uh, we will, I think we will begin from adapter. Um, uh, adapter has the main uh, class component. Um, it uh, has some template uh, that you can use, uh, some functions. Uh, it connected to our uh, dynamic adapter uh, that is a part of the core of the system. Um, here uh, we... Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I... Um, to work with our example uh, we should switch to exercise i think uh, to exercise branch uh, where we can uh, uh, create and uh, add some code and i will explain you how it works so Uh, yes. Uh, um, 
Yes, so this is the template. Um, here we import, we will import some widgets. Um, and uh, the main part uh, that we will uh, change, it is uh, config, uh, adapters config. Um, so uh, uh, we will do it a little bit later. Uh, let's uh, watch the widgets. Uh, we have one widget. Uh, widget is uh, some element that we will uh, uh, we will add to our uh, page. Uh, now we will add only button. So this is one widget that we use. Uh, widgets are created as web components. Uh, so we need to import some uh, dependencies, some from lead and lead decorators. Um, here we see some props uh, that we can um, specify in the daplet that we will specify. It's an image of the button, it's label uh, and other params uh, and some exec and init function. Um, uh, we will use them to uh, interact with our button uh, to uh, add some functionality. Um, we see here some CSS. Um, there are many CSS, some animation. Um, and here uh, we specify as properties all uh, props to use in this class. Um, and here is the code of the bottom. Um, uh, it has some click function and uh, some class uh, that depends on uh, is the button active or is its state changed. Yes, and we have this uh, some image uh, that we will get from the tablet. Um, uh, yes, I think uh, what you should know about button also, it is context in points. Uh, Ah, Nikit, uh, I would like to add, uh, you can see the code uh, of the component with CSS and HTML, it's highlighted perfectly. Uh, we'd like to recommend install the extension for lit element library, uh, which we use to write this component. Yes, uh, I've already to told about it. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes, I can demonstrate it again uh, somewhere here, lead plugin. Yes, uh, you about it. Okay. Um, yes, uh, uh, back to our bottom. Uh, this important uh, variable is context in point. Uh, it describes in what context, in what insertion point, it is insertion points, uh, we will add this uh, widget. Uh, go back to our uh, 
adapter class. And here in config, we see some uh, context name. It is issue comment. Uh, it means that uh, we will uh, describe interaction with some comments for issues on GitHub. So this is this uh, context means uh, interaction with this field or another. And we will add to, uh, we can make uh, many insertion point in the context, for example, uh, insert something here or here or in the text or uh, to the bottom. Uh, for example, in Twitter, you can add, um, uh, you can replace uh, the avatar and here also. Uh, so there are some insertion points and uh, the widget uh, should know uh, where to, where it should be inserted. So we specify it here. Um, let's go back to adapters class. Um, uh, let's change something here. Uh, import our widget here. Import um, bottom. Um, And uh, we will add it here to exports. Uh, we will use the function of the dynamic adapter that called create widget factory. And insert button here. So this widget button will be available in our tablet. And the next part uh, is config. Uh, we should um, specify the container selector. What is container selector? It is uh, some field where all our contexts are placed in. Um, we should open our elements. Uh, we used uh, development tools and uh, we search some some elements where we can uh, use as container. So, um, for example, this container can, uh, contains all the, all the comments. So we can use its selector, or maybe just a part, and we will add it here. So uh, the next step is uh, specific uh, is to specify context selector for each context, and we can go here. Uh, for example. For example, this. Um, 
Um, yes, it will work. Um, the next step uh, is to specify insertion points. Uh, in our example, we need only one insertion point. Uh, I called it header buttons. Um, so I need some selectors. Um, I can update this page and yes, we don't have a button for now. Um, but we can inspect this button. And yes, we can use, for example, this selector to uh, insert our button near uh, near this button. Um, uh, and this field, uh, it's about how we uh, want to insert our button, our widget. Uh, we can insert after this uh, block or before is block or inside. Uh, by default, it's in the end. And we will, um, yes. Um, other possible it's parameters, it's uh, start and inside. So uh, now we can insert our widget to, to the page, but we need to specify context builder. And there is one uh, uh, obligatory field that uh, it is ID. Uh, we should uh, We should add some ID for each, uh, some unique ID for each context on the page. So we can find it here. Um, yes, this container has its ID. So we just take it. Uh, uh, no, we uh, no need ID. We need this um, need ID from this block. So um, we can copy this and. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a function and we have a search node. It is uh, the node that we uh, will get from this field, uh, from context selector. Um, here we can... Um, Query selector. Here we can find no. We need this selector. Yes. And if it exists, we get its ID. Uh, yes. So it will work, but uh, for our uh, Daplet, we need another, some another field. 
uh, it's I called it page uh, because uh, we want to have some link where the comment placed. Uh, so uh, the adapter can provide it. Document location uh, origin plus document location at name. So that's all. Uh, uh, it's all we need to uh, make uh, the adapter works. And it's but a, it's very similar how uh, web scrappers, web parsers works. Maybe someone uh, wrote uh, such tools. For example, uh, it's similar like. Uh, People parse uh, web pages of uh, different uh, web stores with, where you can see a catalog of, of products and you need to uh, select them, uh, every product and parse from, transform the uh, HTML code to JavaScript objects. Uh, yes, it's, it's very similar. But uh, our platform uh, provides a uh, ready framework for, to do it. Uh, thank you, Alexander. Uh, so uh, uh, we just created an adapter, but we can't uh, see anything uh, on the web page because uh, we already need the adaptlet. Uh, so. Uh, we can just create a simple tablet. Uh, I uh, go here to the tablet um, and open SRC uh, folder and Yes, here is our class, GitHub Daplet. Um, uh, there are some commented uh, lines uh, that we will use later. For now, uh, uh, we just use the import of Daplet extension and uh, we create injectable class and we should inject here our adapter. Uh, so it has some name, uh, GitHub adapter example. Uh, add it here. And also, we have to add it to the manifest doublet JSON uh, to dependencies. Here it is, our adapter. And to field context IDs, we should add it. Um, go back. And here, the main method of this class is activate. Uh, here, we can get uh, our widgets from the adapter exports. Our widget is button. And uh, we have function adapter attach config. Uh, where we can we should configure um, our widget. Um, at first, uh, we should uh, specify 
uh, where we want to add the widget. It's our context. Um, uh, the name of our context is issue comment. So, and oh, we want to add here the bottom. Um, uh, yes, uh, but here uh, we have uh, we have to add here some function with context. Yeah, here could be an array of widgets of function which returns this array. Yes, function fun function can be synchronous asynchronous if you want to send request somewhere. You can do it here. Uh, yes, but we have now only one widget. It's bottom, which we will use. And uh, uh, our widgets uh, can have uh, several states. Uh, and the default state calls default. And here uh, we will add some props to the to the widget. Some of them. In our simple example, uh, uh, we can add some image from here, some logo of the depth, and some label, or for example, zero, and it will work. So we can try to start. Then open our GitHub page, uh, reload it. And yes, we see here the doublet and the buttons. But there are not uh, some actions. Um, we just insert them here. Uh, and for now, we don't have some overlay. If we turn off and turn on again, we don't see this button, this home button, because we don't uh, connect the overlay right now. Um, we can add a console log as a click handler to show how the context is parsed how the widget builder function works. Um, yes. Um, uh, widget, okay, you, um, we can show our context, yes? It's yeah, about yeah. it. Okay. Um, um, Show or context. Uh, we should reload the page and by clicking, yes, we see our context, our ID and page URL. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yes, and there are different IDs for different for different comments. Um, uh, uh, is uh, is uh, already under do already uh, do all our watchers <laughs> understand us and uh, uh we don't have any question yet okay so uh let's go to the next part mm. uh we will try to add some features to our Daplet. Um, uh, firstly, we can add some shared state uh, where we can store some data and to share it with the overlay. Uh, to use it, uh, uh, we need some interface some structure of the data uh, uh, we can store here likes and um, some counter it is uh, the length of the likes uh, array uh, but I will explain you later why we need it as separate field. It's number. Um, link to uh, the page. Um, the field uh, is active. Uh, we will use it to Oh, for button states. Um, yes, I'd like to add uh, that is, it's an interface of the uh, data which we want to share with uh, overlay. It will be used by shared state between doublet and uh, overlay. And doublet sends this data of this, of this structure to overlay. Uh, yes, yes, and and if you want, you can use it only in the Daplet. It will work. Um, yeah, sure. uh, so we implement this interface, and uh, uh, here. Uh, Eight. Um, uh, we can call the function um, create state. Um, we can call function from core. Uh, it is uh, uh, here we have some functions from our extension that we can use in our Daplet. Um, we will use state and we uh, specify our interface uh, i storage and then uh, we should uh, we should add some uh, default state we just can copy this and uh, use some some default um default positions yeah. 
Yes. Um, so, uh, um, the next step, uh, we should get uh, some account ID. Uh, I'll read here, get account ID. Uh, uh, because we want to know if we are uh, uh, connected to some wallet, uh, if you're already connected or not. Um, so we use uh, our core session, uh, core sessions feature. Uh, you can, uh, if you want to know more about different features, uh, you can go to our documentation. I can show you. Uh, it's uh, docs.doplets.org, docs, and there are some instructions, instructions, and many examples that are tutorials for some uh, features: how to create adapter, how to add an overlay, how to interact with some valids. Uh, there are many information that we can describe uh, today, all the features. Um, so go back to our tablet. Uh, firstly, uh, I don't know. Uh, I Maybe I just copied from uh, our plan and just explain what happens here. Um, we use core sessions to uh, get uh, existence, uh, existence sessions uh, of the extension. Uh, the next step, uh, we want to find here only sessions that uh, are connected to the Ethereum uh, girly network uh, because uh, we will uh, connect to this uh, network. Um, and if we have this session, if we already connected, we get the wallet from this session, and uh, then uh, we make the request uh, to get uh, Ethereum accounts, and uh, we we will get some uh, array of accounts. And we will use uh, the first one from this array and store it to the state global user account. Um, uh, state, uh, I will explain. Uh, go back to state. Uh, state works as uh, an RxJS library. Uh, it has some observable elements, uh, some observable values. Um, uh, the keys of the state, uh, we can create uh, uh, keys that we want, but uh, there is one uh, existed uh, key, it's global. Uh, and we can uh, store here uh, 
for example, our user account. And uh, this value uh, uh, changed with, with the next method. And then we can get this value by uh, by call the value field. Yes. Uh, so go forward. Uh, then uh, we want to. Uh, connect. We want to store our votes to the contract, and so we have to connect to some contract. Uh, we have uh, some contracts: Ethereum contract and Near contract. Um, in the uh, main branch of this project, uh, you can see interaction with each of them. Uh, and um, some lines were commented, uh, and you can change it and interact with other um, uh, chain, other uh, contract. Uh, but I will uh, show the interaction with Ethereum contract. Uh, so um, we will use uh, create some variable um for example ethereum contract uh this function uh we will use core contract core contract function um It is uh, uh, asynchronous function. So uh, await and um, uh, here we should specify what the uh, chain we will use and uh, the next uh, the address um, I have an address of our contract um, you can find it in our plan or in the main uh, branch uh, and we can uh, we can add it to the comments, I think. Yes, Alexander. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, and uh, the third uh, param is ABI. Uh, that we have already have here. Um, uh, we just import it and add here. Uh, Alexander, can you explain what is ABI? For... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it declares the interface of a uh, smart contract. When you compli compile Solidity code, uh, the Solidity compiler generates some JSON, which describes uh, which methods and uh, properties contain the smart contract. 
and uh, which uh, arguments received and, uh, and which ty data types uh, on the output. So it's just for serialization, it's just for uh, the library who, uh, which sends a request to the smart one contract uh, knows, will know how to serialize data to binary code. So it's a, it's a rules of serialization. Yes, we can see here the name or names of our methods that we will use uh, the some types of parameters. Yes, it, it's not so, it's not necessary to write uh, manually this code. It's auto generated by Solidity compiler. You need just copy paste them. Yes, uh, we can find it here in Ethereum contracts in artifacts. Uh, I think somewhere here, yes, or I don't remember uh, where. Yes, we here in build in four. Here is ABI of our contract. Um, so, um, uh, we added our contract and uh, let's get all data uh, from it. Um, oh. I called it all comments from contract. Mm. Um, it all yes. and uh, we can watch it in the console. Uh, did you show the smart contract code with methods? Um, there is it, it all and, and, and which one for writing? Uh, uh, you want uh, to show it now, the contract? Why not? Oh, okay. Um, because it's unclear what we are doing. Okay. Um, uh, here is our contract. Uh, we use uh, hardhead as an environment. And um, here is. Yes, it has uh, one structure uh, of uh, comment IDs and accounts that voted for this comment. Uh, already, we uh, also we have um, the array of comments, comment IDs, and mapping for getting addresses from by comment ID. And we have uh, several function, uh, get accounts by comment ID, uh, get all uh, data, uh, add like, remove like, and that's all. Um, uh, I don't know, should we describe it more uh, deeper? Oh, it's enough. Okay. Um, so, uh, yes, here we use uh, get all method. Um, and uh, 
Oh, we can already. We can save our tablet and look to the uh, in the browser. Yes, here it is. It's our data. Um, uh, some accounts, comment ID. Yes. Um, so go back to our Daplet. Um, uh, then uh, we should save uh, this. Uh, now, there are many ways how we can, uh, what we can do with this data, uh, but uh, I, in this example, I um, will add all these data to our storage, to the doublet state. Uh, maybe it's not... Uh, um good for some another example but here i think it's it's okay um so first we should get our uh current account current account um from the state um global uh, user account uh value and uh, we should uh, uh we should make it to lower case um then we will go through all uh, parts of this contract, this contract of the data. Mm. Um. So um we will get a key and value compare and um, uh, the key uh as we can See here, uh, the key is uh, the URL of the whole comment. Um, so uh, to get uh, an ID of the comment, uh, we should split this key. Okay, uh, and then uh, we should add all information that we need to to the state by this ID. We should add likes. Um, uh, its value and. We should add a counter 
there is value length. And we should add link. It is the whole key. And then uh, we should set is active. Um, here uh, we should go. Um, we should look to all values and um, you can see that here we have in uh, uppercase some uh, letters in uh, different cases. So we should convert it to lowercase. Um, okay, uh, I have a message that there are some problems with connection. Yes, let me check if everything is fine. I think the picture is clear on my devices. Alexander, could you please confirm from your end? Oh, this, this screen sharing is, is stuck. Uh, oh, it's refreshed <laughs> after two minutes. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. Um, so here, uh, if uh, this value of accounts contain our current account, so this button will be active. Um, so um, we are finished with uh, contract uh, data and now it's data in the state. Um, so uh, the next part uh, is to add the overlay. Uh, so, um, overlay, uh, um, We uh, we have already uh, a state that we can share with the overlay, uh, but also we can share some function uh, through our bridge, uh, Daplet's overlay bridge. Um, uh, I can show, I think, now the overlay. Uh, uh, the overlay, it is um, just a single page application. Uh, it's written in React uh, with TypeScript. Um, and here in package.json, we can see uh, uh, depend in dependencies, uh, our doublets and doublet overlay bridge. Um, so uh, the difference uh, with another uh, single page application is that in index TSX, uh, we add our function doublet state 
and it creates a hook. Uh, so uh, it uh, uh, so we can use uh, some uh, props as some props. Our data from the um, from the doublet, uh, uh, but we uh, should specify uh, props uh, with interface. So we uh, can see here interface I bridge uh, with two methods: uh, login and logout. Uh, we need this. Uh, methods so we can add them in the doublet here uh, and we will use it uh, to create uh, the overlay object um, uh, also um, uh, also, I add additional function that helped us. Uh, we just uncomment it. Uh, it uh, changes uh, is active fields uh, in state uh, when uh, the when there are some new changes in the contracts. Uh, we will use uh, this function. Um, uh, yes. Um, uh, and firstly, we should implement our uh, login and logout function. Um, I think that I just copied uh, from the our plan. Yes, we have uh, uh, not uh, infinity time. <laughs> so um, login function. Um, uh, as we used here, uh, we will use core sessions. Uh, find a session uh, with Ethereum Girly. And if uh, this session, if um, we haven't, we haven't sessions, we use core login method. Um, uh, we uh, add here uh, Ethereum Girly as uh, out methods parameter and the target is overlay uh, that doesn't exist and we create it later. Um, then uh, we get the wallet from session wallets. Um, uh, make the request to get account IDs and uh, put it to the uh, state global user account. And then uh, change its active states. Uh, it's about login and logout. Uh, we just log out from all sessions and then change activity. Um, so now we can add the overlay. Um, overlay, uh, we will call core overlay method um, with I breach station um, 
here uh, we need to specify name some name of our overlay um, if we will look here to the overlay to its package json we use this name and we already have to specify it here in the doublets json doublet json uh, overlays uh, this name um, and also um, we should uh, add some title um, for example github doublet um, also we use state uh, it's our state that we created already and uh, we player some our functions it's uh, login and logout um uh, so yes that's all um and uh, now we add all the features that we want and wanted to add and we can go to our uh, config uh, that we will attach um, uh, here we can change the label to state um, context context id and here is counter um, i told you that uh, we need this uh, field uh, because when we uh, add here this uh, observable field it will be updated uh, uh, automatically uh, so and we will add is active field um, ID counter uh, is active. Yes. So we can save our changes and go to the browser. And yes, uh, we see here our buttons with labels uh, that shows uh, the numbers of votes. Um, uh, we haven't uh, the overlay. Um, Um, so I forget to add some uh, 
overly yes we can we can add some uh some field <laughs> uh, is on action um field uh so yes i will see here um what i forget to add yes yeah, score on action um yes uh the method on action adds uh, the home button uh to the uh, doublet in the list in extension and add some function for it uh, in our example it opens overlay yes and uh, if we save it and yes this button we have um so uh we uh, just now haven't some actions by the click of the buttons we just have uh, uh some message to console um but uh, do we have a time to implement uh, the button actions? Uh, we have 13 minutes. OK. Um, OK, let's try it. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Uh, firstly. You can just uh, copy and paste the code from your solution branch. Maybe. And, uh, yeah. ju just describe what's happening there. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. Yes. Mm. Uh, so, first. Uh, uh, we will get a uh, user account name and if uh, we have the name if we uh, don't log in we should do it because if you you, you don't uh, don't log in you can vote and we can uh, to uh, save uh, data to the contract so uh, we used here a login mm -hmm. a function that we will implement uh, above uh, and uh, change the name of variable. And then uh, we uh, get from the state by the context ID uh, our uh, parameters and then implement uh, two functions it's add like and remove like uh, uh, at first uh, we will uh, uh, call the contract function and if uh, there be uh, will be all, all okay so we change our uh, state, our Daplet state. Uh, and uh, the same is here in remove like. We just call remove like of Ethereum contract. Um, uh, we will, uh, uh, in add like and in remove like, uh, we create. Uh, uh, the uh, the ID um, yes 
uh, but I think that we can just page. Uh, oh, no, 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 just page. Uh, page with context stating. Um, so, and if, uh, uh, if uh, in our likes in this array, uh, we don't have our name, uh, username we call add like method and in another way we call remove like uh, and yes that's all <laughs> we can try it uh, in the github website reload the page um, Yes, I will exit from, uh, uh, I will show you how to connect. Um, uh, there is an existing uh, session, but I can use it or use another uh, wallet, another session. You have here MetaMask. Um, or valid connect, uh, you can use it, but uh, we will use our uh, existing session of our valid. <clears throat> uh, and the, we will... this, uh, I'd like to add, this wallet uh, built in to the Duplet extension, and uh, we don't recommend to use it in production mode. Uh, because the private key of this wallet is hard coded in our extension, and uh, we added it just for testing purposes to demonstrate how it works for those po uh, for those users who mm, don't have a MetaMask and doesn't know how it works. Uh, it's just for testing. Don't use it in production. Yes, thank you. Uh, so let's try to add some votes. Um, yes, we can add and we can remove votes. Um, let's try on another. Uh, if we connect uh, to MetaMask, uh, there is some uh, MetaMask overlay. I can show you this. Uh, Yes, it's another valid, and we can add vote. Yes, we can see the MetaMask confirmation. Yes, so we can reload the page uh and reload it again <laughs> no it's a little bit slowly yeah uh, you need to wait uh, uh, a few seconds uh, while transaction will be mined yes i think uh, let's try it again Yes, we can see two votes on this comment. Uh, also, if I want to exit, uh, disconnect and click to the bottom, uh, I can see this um, uh, uh, pop up. Uh, and I need to connect to vote. Okay. Now it's some strange 
things. Uh, and because of translation, or oh, translation screencast. Yes, maybe. So uh, that's all we need. Uh, that I wanted to show you. Uh, uh, I can. Will show. you show how to deploy this? No. Uh, oh, yes. Um, we can deploy. Yes. Our Daplet. Um, deploy to the registry to make it uh, fully decentralized and. Uh, the overlay will be stored in the swarm storage, in the IPFS, and another storage in the uh, par parallel way. And uh, the manifest of uh, the doublet will be stored in the, the, in the registry, which is a smart contract in Ethereum. So yeah. it it's, will be really unstoppable application. Yes, uh, it will be available for users. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, 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 in the public way. Uh, so, uh, um, in our example, we have uh, adapter and Daplet. So, uh, there are some uh, different models, and we need to deploy it uh, separately. Um, uh, so, in the developer tab, we can deploy it. Uh, yes, the, the order of uh, deployment is is matter because uh, uh, Daplet depends on adapter. So, the first uh, you need to deploy an adapter and after that, uh, Daplet. Uh, yes. Oh, yes, model was deployed, and then another one, the Daplet. Just wait a few seconds. Yes. Uh, so now we can disable developer uh, server servers and um we can reload the page okay <laughs> um why we have no available features nikita just uh, to check if something happens on your screen Um, what? Uh, I think your screen is frozen and we see the same tab. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, your, uh, I can stop and uh, share again. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, it works yeah. now. Thanks. Um, I can see uh, the Daplet, uh, Alexander, help me, <laughs> <laughs> why it can be so, and maybe because of, uh, I just tried to use, mm. uh, 
use this uh, wallet. Which wallet uh, did you use? Um, I think I don't know. <laughs> if you use the testing wallet, uh, you need. Uh, I think uh, add to the trust Tra users. Oh yes, I think maybe wallet. Um, I'll connect again, and uh, in the settings we have trusted users. We can add it here and uh, I think we should reload it yes. I'll try reload the extension um, oh no just reload the page yes um, yes we see it here but mm, or from developer just try it again <laughs> yes yeah, yeah, yeah. author okay. is at this no it's not uh, uh, our valid test invalid it is my wallet so it's all right uh yes and we can use it and uh, you can use it <laughs> this uh small tablet to vote some comments on github, I'll check uh, on GitHub. so if you have some questions, you can ask them. It's all that I wanted to show you. Uh, do we have some questions? Yes, I think uh, Alexander has covered you in the live chat and uh, replied to all the questions in written form. Alexander, do we have something to discuss? Uh, only one question was, it's about, ah, two questions, it's about uh, uh, the technology stack and uh, uh, which language we use for smart contract. Could you please read ah, the, the question aloud? The, yeah. the, the new, the, uh, the new question. Um, yes, uh, are there any gas fees involved in, the, in these transactions? Uh, yes, and the smart contract is on Ethereum. And the uh, likes which uh, Nikita stores in the smart contract uh, consumes gas. So uh, I think the better blockchain for such community interactions is near, because near protocol, because uh, their low transaction fee, it's very cheap to use. Uh, but we don't have the time to demonstrate how it works but uh, you can find it in, in our documentation uh, uh -huh. i think i i respond yes, um, and yes do you have something to add sorry uh, i can uh, maybe i can show the near if someone wants to see it just in main branch uh, we can uh, comment some lines and we can connect to near uh, wallet mm. that would be great <laughs> um, okay. another mm. question uh, about different between test nets of ethereum uh, the, the difference exists <laughs> um, i didn't understand the question truly um, i the our platform now it works uh, on the top of uh, girly testnet so the adapt reg registry on the girly uh, so we are planning in the in the future month uh, to add the 
the uh, opportunity to use different testnets so it will be conf uh, the, the user can specify any network like in the metamask in the settings of uh, the extension but it will be uh, later so okay i <laughs> i hope i answered and is there anything to comment from the previous questions Uh, previous question about was the language which which we use for smart contract development. Um, Ethereum smart contract was written in Solidity language. Um, we're using a hard hat environment. So, the simple question. <laughs> okay, and Alex Liskovitz says thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you too for the question. I think that was it from the from the live chat. And if we will not receive any extra questions today, I think uh, we will have any extra questions afterward. And if I will receive some, I will pass them over to you guys. So, anything else to add? Nikita, you still have your screen open? Uh, yes, I small? can show Oops. you uh, to interaction with uh, Nier. Yes, here we have um, connecting to Nier wallet. Uh, we go to the uh, login page, um, connect, and yes, we see this our doublet statsnet account and one link um so we can also vote uh, we can show some additional information the method i'd like uh, arguments um, approve this transaction And yes, add the vote. Um, yes, <laughs> that's all. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's uh, let's move on to the conclusion. And before we conclude our today's session, Katerina, maybe a couple of words from you. Yes, thank you. Uh, firstly, I want to thank everyone for joining us. Um, even though, you know, we can't see or hear you, it's just the feeling of like being able to share all of our knowledge and experience. It's really great. Thank you, guys. Especially when we see the comments. It's so nice to like communicate a little bit. Um, so uh, we have, uh, if I may share my screen, Alex, like this, oh, like this. Uh, <laughs> do you want to share your screen or yes yeah um, just just uh, click the share button and i will bring it to the stage yes one second um wait <laughs> i don't think uh my computer is allowing me. oh yeah. yeah like um like this yes still no still no screen Oh, um, okay, wait, I'm going to, <laughs> something else, I'm going to ask Nikita to share for me. Uh, one second. Um, here, here. Or you, Alec, you can also share for me. <laughs> so, Nikita, could you, could you please uh, share the screen and the link it's in, in the, the chat? It's in our chat, yeah. Yeah, so. Sure it is. Thank you so much. Um, so we have a small landing page for developers. Uh, that's you guys. <laughs> it's in the description box of the um, YouTube live stream. Uh, we will also, uh, Alec, we <laughs> please also post the link in the chat. Uh, if you go all the way down, 
Oh, uh, all the way down. <laughs> no, you don't have to read this right now. <laughs> this is just for you to investigate later. Um, but we have uh, this red button uh, with, yes. So we told you a lot about us, but now we want to know more about you guys and, uh, you know, your interests and, you know, uh, about this whole workshop. Uh, what did you think of it and everything? So we want... Uh, Yes, yeah, some information about you and a little bit of feedback. Uh, so if you click on that red button, there'll be a small questionnaire, very small. <laughs> it would be really great if you guys could fill that in. Uh, we'll be forever grateful. And also, we are uh, we really uh, want to see you guys at the hackathon. We're very excited for that. And we have even more exciting things planned. Uh, so hopefully, we'll see you guys there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Katerina. And before we go, uh, just one extra Question, guys, Nikita Alexander, many thanks for the great workshop. Is there a place where it's possible to check Sam Daplet's ideas? Uh, yes, if you go back to the landing page. Someone share for me, I'm so sorry. Yes, yes. Um, yes, you can go down and you see, um, bum, bum, bum. Our list of ideas, choose the how to become a developer. There's a, yep. And if you click on that, it will take you to our GitHub page where you can find some Daplet ideas, um, which hopefully thanks to today's workshop, uh, you guys can try and achieve on your own. <laughs> We also have documentation, uh, as Nikita and Alexander showed you before, where uh, maybe some additional questions will also be answered. But don't hesitate to message us on Discord or any other channels if you want um, any extra information. OK, people are still sending thank you messages to you. And uh, thank you so much uh, for to, to everyone for your attendance. We hope you have really enjoyed and uh, you have learned much from this uh, presentation. And of course, many thanks to our today's speakers, uh, Katerina, Alexander and Nikita. You have done your best today and it was <laughs> very productive two hours of, uh, uh, of our uh, joint uh, workshop. And that was our uh, hackathon workshop and the hackathon itself uh, as i mentioned before in the beginning uh, is planned uh, for june 30th and we still have two weeks to prepare and if you will have any questions just uh, send them to me and i will connect you to nikita and alexander and kate so uh, thank you so much for coming i hope you enjoyed it was a pleasure to have you with us and uh, see you at the hackathon bye bye guys bye thank you thank you bye